What if I told you that I could predict which T20 med school you would get into? Well, Harry got into Cleveland Clinic and Andrea got into the University of Washington. There are a couple secrets I've learned over the years. Secret number one, the 1.5% acceptance rate is scary. Yes, but that's all pre-meds and it certainly doesn't mean all qualified pre-meds. When you remove the thousands of applications that have red flags or truly aren't even in the stat range, the acceptance rate becomes much more reasonable. Secret number two, UCLA's median MCAT is 515. Their median GPA is 3.86. If you're applying with a 3.97 GPA 519 MCAT like I did, there's actually 12,843 pre-meds with that same exact stat portfolio over the last three years. Remember, UCLA only has 100 seats, and if there are thousands of pre-meds with perfect stats, there must be more to the equation. At that stage, schools are looking more for mission fit, not max stats. So if you're targeting Stanford, think of a profile that features innovation, tech, and entrepreneurship. If you're targeting UCLA, think health equity and community engagement. If you're looking at Columbia, think systems leadership and urban health. So when pre-meds say that they're aiming for T20s, they're a bit misguided. To be competitive for any school at that level, you must have built a clear narrative that resonates with each of these T20s unique missions.